What's up guys, Pippi Deed here and welcome to episode 10 of Mission Impossible Diego Maradona. We're starting off this episode by taking a look at the trade pilot and we are actually going to be recording this whole episode live. So that should be fun. We're going to play the draft obviously because it is the 10th episode and I told you guys that every 10th episode we're going to be playing a draft to see how we can do. And uh, we're taking a look at the trade pile right here. We did end up selling the Aryan Robin that we packed at the end of last episode for 64,000 coins, which means we are now sitting pretty at 251,000 coins, which is very, very nice indeed. I also sold some more contracts over here for 200 coins. I still have a few left that I'm trying to sell. And uh, we're still holding on to that Griffo that we bought for 13,000 coins. Uh, as for the end of last episode, there was actually a, p a pack that we got, like a free pack from the pack that we opened, and I didn't open it in the video. Uh, I did end up opening it off screen, and we didn't get anything, so don't worry about that. But uh, yeah, sorry for that. Uh, as for what we completed over here, we have a daily objective. It was a Playa Fitness card. I did that. We're going to get ourselves a silver gift pack. Actually, that's better than I was expecting. I was expecting a um, 200 coins. And the other pack that we have in there is also from a daily objective that I completed yesterday, but I never claimed it. So hopefully we get something worthwhile in these two silver packs. And before we enter the draft, there's actually a little bit of investing I want to do. Nothing too crazy, but I want to buy a couple of players from the teams that are predicted to be in the next marquee matchups. So uh, before we get into the draft, we'll quickly buy a few of those players right there. As for what the teams are, I can quickly read them to you guys. Arsenal Spurs, I feel like that one's probably going to happen. Atletico Real Madrid, eh, I guess you could bank on that one happening as well. And I have a lot of uh, coaches that I am missing. I really need to check. Talked about that in the last episode. But uh, yeah, the other teams, Roma Lazio and Monterrey Tigres. That is actually one of the, the biggest rivalries in Mexico. So that one could happen as well. So yeah, let's quickly go ahead and buy some players from each team. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go too crazy on this. And I'm only going to buy one of each player. So we'll start off with Arsenal over here. I'm not too sure what I'm looking for when I'm buying Arsenal players. But I'm trying to get... So I don't even know if we have El Elneny in the club. But he is looking to be the cheapest Arsenal player you can buy. Oh, okay, nope. Chambers, 500 coins. And we also completed another task. Great. So we're going to go ahead, put Chambers in the club. But I'm also going to buy a player that will be very useful because I'm guessing that this Arsenal Spurs challenge is going to have a rating. So we're going to go ahead and buy Jack Wheelchair over here. Not too sure how much he goes for, but he is 81 rated, I think. So he might go for a couple thousand. A thousand one hundred seems to be the going price for him would be nice to get him for a thousand and there's one right there do we get it yes we do so we're gonna go ahead and also oh he's a duplicate uh, that's actually not a bad idea because uh, we'll have one to submit and also one to sell for profit hopefully and I'm not expecting to make a bunch of coins on this because let's be real here uh, we're only buying one of each so it's not like we're gonna make a lot and even when we buy one like they don't really go up that, by that much so not expecting anything too crazy uh, now we're going to go ahead and buy a Spurs player because that is the team Arsenal will be playing. I think that game is next week, if I'm not mistaken. We'll buy Vorm. Uh, not a bad shout. 79 rated. Not that great, uh, but not that bad. And we got him for, what, 600 coins or so? Uh, as for the, the good player that I want to buy is Sissoko because he's also pretty well rated. And, uh, well... I stand corrected. He's not that high rated, but he is a rare card. And sometimes you do require a rare player for these SBCs. So having him wouldn't be too shabby. Uh, he's going for like 800 coins, I think. So let's go and quickly get him. We'll also store him in the club. And now we'll move on to Atletico and Real Madrid. And uh, yeah, uh, for Atletico Madrid, there's actually two players I want to buy that I have in mind. And one of them is Moya because he's 81 rated should be useful i'm expecting that one to be have a rating requirement because they're two pretty big teams uh can we get him yes we got him for 750 coins not too shabby so yeah overall i don't see myself like spending more than like seven to eight thousand coins on this whole thing so even if it doesn't end up working it doesn't really matter because the coins that we're going to lose are so minimal because most of these guys are already at like discard price so 
not too fussed about that. The next player over here is going to be Casilla, also nicely rated, and he's going for like almost discard, so might as well pick him up. And now we have completed that challenge right there, Atletico and Real Madrid. Next one is Roma and Lazio. We actually have one of the players already that I was looking to get for Roma. I was about to type in Roma, and that is actually Ganalons. I don't know if we have him as a duplicate already. I think we do, but either way, let's just go ahead and buy him just for argument's sake. And I'm not too sure what he's rated. I think he's rated 80, but all that matters is that uh, he's a rare card, so you might need him. That one's definitely gone. 950, so we're going to... Okay. Yeah, but love when that happens. Love when cards that aren't actually there show up, but uh, hopefully a new one pops up. 850 coins. No, I thought we got him that time, but I was wrong. Okay, so let's see. Can we get him for a thousand coins? Not really what I wanted to be paying for Gonalons, but whatever. Not bad at all. Yeah, I knew we have him as a duplicate. He's part of our team, so we'll send him to the transfer list. I probably could get another Roma player, but I'm not too sure who. So let's take a quick look over here. Uh, they're AS Roma. Oh, no, they actually just changed it to Roma. All right, okay. So let's see. Who is cheap for Roma? I'm trying to think. Uh, see, I could get that 77 rated guy. He's pretty cheap. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do because I don't really, I can't really think of another. Oh, actually, this guy would be perfect because he's Italian and you might need like Italians for it. So I'm lucky not to have gotten him right there. Oh, Moreno 80 rated would be perfect. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. So we get ourselves Schick over here, if that's even how you say his name. So we'll store him in the club and now we'll go on to Lazio. I actually do have two players in mind for Lazio and uh, those players are Felipe Anderson and what's the other guy's name? Parolo. Uh, both well rated, both rare cards. So they might go up a little bit in price when the challenge comes out, if it comes out, because we're not even sure that's going to happen. Uh, Felipe Anderson's a right wing this year. That's actually pretty interesting because he's right footed, isn't he? It doesn't really matter because he's got a four star weak foot. So I probably could have. I actually would have got Felipe Anderson for my one of our starter Serie A teams, but I just had the funds to go for Quadrado, so that's why I didn't. Uh, as for Parolo, he's actually a player I could get for the team, but we have a Bonaventura, I think, and. Uh, pff, I just feel like if I want to buy another midfielder for the Serie A team, I'm just going to buy somebody that's like really good as like a better improvement because we have the funds now. So no point in going for Parolo, but I uh, will store him in the club. And now we'll move on to the last two teams, which are Monterrey and Tigres. My friend is actually a Tigres fan, so he's going to be rooting for them in that one. And now, one of the Monterey players I want to get is Hurtado. I don't think it's this one. Nope, it's the other one. Because he is pretty well rated. I think he's a shiny card, which might be a requirement for that challenge. So we'll go and get him. He's actually really fast, I think, as well. Should be going for like around this price, just because he's a rare card. Not too sure why I went a couple of cards in, but whatever. We'll store him in the club. I could get another uh, Monterey player, so we'll go ahead and do that. They're in the Liga Max, right? Where are they? Right there. Where's Monterey? Should be around here. Wow, okay. Make sure it's gold, too, because um, I don't really think bronzes and silvers will be useful. So it looks like we're going to be getting that Paraguayan midfielder right there. Trying to get him for as cheap as possible, though. 500 coins for Carrizo. Didn't expect to get him. I wanted to get the Paraguayan guy. He's also a duplicate, so whatever. We'll send him to the trade pile. And then we'll go and pick up the last two players who I have in mind for Tigres, and that is Jignac and Ayala. Uh, Jignac, I think he's like 81 rated, so he should be good to have. As for Ayala, I think he's also pretty well rated, and he is a defender. Wow, I wasn't expecting Jignac to go for so much, but whatever. Okay. Are all of these gone? God damn it. Oh, well, oh, that guy was actually there. Okay, so we're already 10 minutes into this video. We haven't even built the draft. And all I've been doing is just buying cards. So sorry for that. But uh, let's quickly buy this last guy. Claim the reward for that challenge that we completed. And uh, we'll go into the draft right away. So the draft, I'm going to build it, but I'm not going to build it live because that's just going to take way too much time. So I'm going to fast forward the footage of me building the draft, but I'll come back to you guys 
when we find the game and uh, we'll do a live commentary for the full game so let's claim this reward from the objective by a defender and we get ourselves a bronze contract pack and uh, then we'll go ahead and just gonna discard this we'll go ahead and build the draft so okay let's go to where the draft is go into it and I'm going to go ahead and build the draft we're gonna enter with coins obviously because we don't use FIFA points in this series and I'll be right back Okay guys, this is the draft and I don't know how I feel about it because it is a pretty weak draft in my eyes. We have some amazing players in there. Like we got the informed De Gea, we got Lacazette, uh, we did get Mata and Ozil who are all, all right. And we also have some amazing super subs. We got both Ronaldo and Messi, not to mention the fact that we got inform Mertens as well. But those guys are going to be impact subs. I can't really start them. As for what how the team looks and the formation, the 4231 is a formation which I've heard great things about, but I've never had success with success with it in previous years. And I'm not really expecting anything different this year. But uh hopefully the tables will turn and we can actually play well with it. I'm gonna go ahead and put both my center defensive mids on uh, stay back while attacking. Uh Lacazette is gonna stay on stay central, get him behind. But yeah, the team is all right. I just don't know how I feel about this silver being in here, especially considering that he's not even on full chem. It's going to be pretty weird, but... Oh yeah, wow, we can get more chem from doing that. I didn't even think of that. I also... Okay, whatever. So we'll have this as the team. We'll probably end up bringing on Mertens, Messi, and Ronaldo. But yeah, where am I expecting to finish? Not too far. I'm hoping to get past the second round. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So without further ado, let's jump into a game, see how we do, and hope for the best. Like I said, 4-2-3-1, I haven't even played with it this year, but I've heard great things about it. So hopefully it does play well for us, and uh, hopefully we can defend well. It's going to be a struggle to defend on that right-hand side right there, because I just feel like that side is the weakest point of our team. Um, I mean, our left side isn't all that strong either. We have Ibora and Holobas who aren't exactly the fastest, but we do have at least company there who can kind of hold his own. Whereas on the right side, we have Cancelo, that silver guy, and then uh, who's that, Moreno, who's our center back. He's not that great. So I feel like we're going to struggle down that right-hand side. But uh, let's see where we go. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so we have found an opponent. He's got a 4-1-2-1-2 two, two, 
with the left mid and right mid. A pretty nice team overall. He's pretty much just got a Premier League side. A couple of good players in there. Martial, Salah, Matic, Inform, Azipilicueta. But then he has Boateng and Horn at the back. Well, I've heard great things about Horn. And Boateng, you don't even have to talk about. He's just such a great center back in this game. So it should be an interesting game. Let's see how things go. Hopefully, we can play well with this formation. I honestly don't know how... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think we came across a legend, guys. I think we came across a legend. 40 seconds in, <laughs> 40 seconds in, he runs back, scores an own goal, and it looks like he's going to quit and give us a win. <sighs> I love it when that happens. It's rare, but I love it when that happens. And just like that, we're into the second round of the draft without even having to touch the ball. <sighs> Gotta love it. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the second round, which is already progress on where I was expecting to finish. I wanted to get past this round, so if we can just win one game, we've already done that. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys again in a second when we find another game. <laughs> okay guys, we have found another opponent, this time a five at the back, which I'm not looking forward to playing against. Uh, something interesting about this guy's team, he actually has the same De Gea that we do, so that is going to be interesting. Uh, his team overall, though, isn't all that great. He's got like a Bundesliga, Premier League, La Liga hybrid type of thing. Uh, he's got that path to glory player. I'm not too sure who it is, but he's partnered up top with Werner, who's also a good player. But yeah, overall, this guy's team isn't all that great. He's got 87 chemistry, but he does have five at the back, so... Uh, uh, I'm a little bit nervous to see how we fare against that, but hopefully we'll do well. So, okay, I went counterattack because that's usually what I do in games in which I want to win. Normally, like in a Division 9 game or whatever, I, I just leave it. I don't even care unless like I'm losing or I feel like the opponent is a good player. Wait, wait, we have a chance here with Lacazette. Goal. Clinical. Alexander Lacazette. 1-0. He's already paused it, three minutes in. I swear to God, if this guy ends up rage quitting, this might just be the best video ever. Uh, but I don't think he's going to do that because it's way too early for that. Uh, I do think he is going to do some substitutions, which actually makes me wonder if I should do some. Like, should I take out... You see, the thing is, right, that the only people that I'd want to bring on are actually players that I don't necessarily need early on because I already have players that are decent enough in that position right now whereas I would love to take out Locatelli right now but I don't have anybody that can play that position other than maybe Sigurdsson maybe Sigurdsson could play CDM but eh, I'll hold off on it I do want to see who he does bring on though so we'll see who he brings on it should tell us right now because it was from kickoff right so let's take a second here take a look at the top left corner and see who he brought on okay he took off Stindl who I think was that path to glory player that I was talking about and he brought on Muller I think uh, he also brought on Ericsson for Campbell he almost equalized right there literally from kickoff but yeah those are the subs he did so far Mata to Ozil. Ozil make up for that missed chance. And Cabaselli. <sighs> oh, wait. We got the ball back. Assist. So close. Lacazette is so... <laughs> what the hell is going on? Lacazette is so unlucky not to have a second goal by this point. But hopefully from this corner, that is definitely going to go in. Bike it. Somebody. Nope. Not going to happen. Wait. We still got the ball, though. Who was that, too? Halftime. Okay, so... It's halftime, guys. We have the 1-0 lead still. We're creating more than our opponent. Like, we've had a few chances with that man right there, Lacazette, to score our second. However, we weren't able to. He also had one good chance to equalize, but unfortunately, he was denied by the post. Well, I guess fortunately for me, unfortunately for him. So, hoping to get a second goal in the second half. Obviously, around like the 60th minute or so, we're going to go ahead and bring on the reinforcements of Messi, Ronaldo, and inform Mertens Ozil Lacazette ah oh, he scores but it's offside I thought it was offside too but uh damn Lacazette is really unlucky not to have like 40 goals by now
okay, so the f ball finally went out of play and we're able to make our substitutions now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out uh, Ozil. I'm going to take out Sigurdsson and we're going to take out Mata as well. And uh, we're going to go. I don't, I don't really know where. I think Messi's good there on the left side because he can shoot across body. Ronaldo, I think I want him at striker. We'll have Mertens play in the middle and Lacazette on the right. And hopefully we can get that second goal because I really feel like that we need it because this guy might get lucky and score a goal. So hopefully the reinforcements can help us get that second goal. Oh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, my God. De Gea got too close, so the finesse didn't work out that well. But uh, good chance right there for Ronaldo to make it too. I probably should have gone with... I don't know what I could have done. I, mean, I don't think a chip would have worked either. It was just a really good run by De Gea. Oh my god, and we're denied by the post. Was that Lacazette again? I swear he's destined not to score again. Of fucking course this happens. 86th minute, rebound right to him. Oh my god, I love this game, man. I probably should have cleared it with X or cross or whatever you want to call it rather than with A, which is a bad habit of mine. Uh, but, man, of course, 86 minute. I even went defensive to try and hold on to the lead, but I knew that not getting that second goal would come back to bite me in the ass. And lo and behold, it has come and bit me. Wait, Ronaldo! Uh, <laughs> god damn it, De Gea is having a great game for him. We really should have scored at least three this game, but Lacazette was so unlucky. Ronaldo! What the f... Mertens! There he is, 90th minute. We get a little bit of luck as the rebound falls to Lacazette, who's able to head it to Mertens, who had nobody on him somehow. And he finishes it, makes it 2-1. And what do you know, our reinforcement subs were the key to winning this game as Mertens grabs the winner. The guy rage quits, he says, you know what, screw it. In the 90th minute, no point. And with that, we're into the third round of the draft. Wow, that should ha shouldn't have been as stressful as it was, but yeah, uh, at least we completed my goal of getting past the second round. So we're gonna go ahead and play the third round and uh, I'll see you guys when I find an opponent. Okay guys, I actually just took a look at how long the video is going to be and it's around the 25 minute mark. So I'm actually going to end off the episode here, but we will be continuing the draft in episode 11 and uh, we'll also be finishing it because we're already in the third round. So if we get to the fourth round, I'll still be able to fit in two games in the next episode. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching episode 10 of Mission Impossible Maradona. My name is Pippi Deed and I'm out.